Hi fellow makeup fiends, today I'm going to show you my Urban Decay collection. So we're going to start with small things. I have got five individual eyeshadows, one of them of which is supposed to be a blush or an eyeshadow. I purchased one of these myself and the others I got in swaps. So this is the one that you can use as a blush. But it's quite pigmented, although it does blend out, it's still quite a bright pink. So this is called Sting, the packaging's really nice and then I've got four individual shadows. So I've got this one which actually was a, fr a gift of a friend. It's a really nice soft peach and that one is called ABC Gum. And then, Tony's down here, <laughs> fussing on Harry. And then I've got this green which is called Vert, which is French or green. Then I've got a blue eyeshadow called Goddess. And then I've got this eyeshadow called Piccadilly. Now this is the only one that I actually purchased myself. This is an old one, I've actually had this a couple of years now. But if, I think if you look after your eyeshadows you can keep them for quite a while. It's just a beautiful um, aqua colour. I really love this and I've actually enjoyed using this recently. So I've actually moved them out of the bottom drawer into the top drawer where I've got the rest of my sleek stuff and I'm actually using them more because they're just a bit more accessible so sometimes when you push things out the way you forget you've got them. So that's those. Um, I've also got the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. I reckon I'm about down to there. I've used a ton of this spray. This is a makeup setting spray and it's amazing. I think I've just said it's a makeup setting spray. Sorry about that. But this is amazing stuff. Um, it's got quite a nice smell. And you just mist this on over your makeup and it sets it. And this is amazing stuff. And I know that there are mixed reviews because some people don't believe in setting sprays because they put like 16 hour foundation on. Um, but I don't really believe those 16 hour foundations work for me really, those 24 hour foundations. I don't think anything can really last that long on your skin. Your skin is producing oils, particularly if you've got oily skin and I do have oily skin. So my skin produces oils and I get oily around sort of the T-zone area and I tend to rub my face so those kind of foundations do not stay on perfectly for that length of time for me because I'm a bit of a face rubber. Um, so this helps. Also eye primers are great. They stop your eyeshadow from creasing and do help keep it on but I think this keeps it on longer. I've actually gone to bed with makeup on. Yes, very naughty. Woke up the next morning and it looked exactly as it was the night before which is totally unheard of because you know if you sleep in makeup it kind of gets smeared about. It's on your pillow, it's all over the place. Not with this stuff. It's amazing. So I love that. And then I have eyeliners. Loads. So I'm going to put my glasses on at this point and I'm going to read out the names and try to keep this short. Right, so I have these which were... Oh, I've got drop seat today. Okay, so I have got these two pencils here and these as you can see are very short. Um, but these were full size pencils at one point and yeah that's how much I've sharpened them down so you've got zero and perversion which of course are the two famous black ones it's getting quite difficult to sharpen these now because they're just so small um, but I will keep continuing and sharpen them for as long as I can and then I've got a bunch of colours so oh my goodness <laughs> okay so a stray dog. If anybody would like me to do a video showing these and doing swatches I will do. This one's Deviant. Midnight Cowboy. Dime. Uzi. Corrupt. Ransom. Lust. They're not coming out as quite as bright on camera as they are in person. Junkie. Baked. Lucky. Perversion in full size. Mildew. Graffiti. 
Asphyxia. Electric. Psychedelic Sister. Hustle. Rockstar. Oh, I love Rockstar. Whiskey. I actually got that one from America because they don't sell it full size over here. Yeah, yo. Radium. Covet. Gunmetal. LSD. Stash. Demolition. Full size zero. Woodstock. Binge. Bourbon. Oil Slick, which is black with sparkles. 1999. Mushroom. Flip side. Crash. And finally, El Dorado. So that is them. And I keep them in this lovely little container that I got. It's got a little bit of damage to it, but I got it in the metal on sale for 50 pence. Really love that. So that's where all of those live. And I will do a video just on the liners to give you swatches of those um, because you couldn't really get an idea of anything. Let <laughs> me so just quickly show them to you. I'm looking for... Right, I've got a lip liner, which is called Ozone. Also, and then we'll move on to palettes now. Start with the ones up here. I've got the Midnight Emergency Kit. I actually got this off a friend. That's what it looks like. And it did have a gloss in it. I've got two glosses, but um, I think I've got one in my handbag and I don't know where the other one is. So I can't show you those. Then I've got the Mariposa palette. The only thing about this one, I find it difficult to open. If there's gaps, they've had either a brush or a little eyeliner in. So the brushes are over there and I'll show you those. I've got the smoke palette. I love this. Gorgeous. I've got a professional size eyeshadow primer portion. You've all seen this one. This is Naked 2. That one's Naked. And then my favourite of the moment which is Naked Basics. And then also here I've got the 15th anniversary um, palette. And that's what that one looks like. So that's everything that I've got in like the letter rack style holder up here. I have got the ammunition palette. I got that one quite recently actually. I used some points towards that one and I haven't actually used it yet. So I got these off eBay. Um, so I don't know what these are called actually. This one's like a little deluxe box of shadows. So I got that one. This is the Roller Girl palette, which I absolutely love, and it's got one of my favourite colours in, which is Verve. Beautiful, beautiful highlight sort of colour. And then I've got three others in here. I have got the Feminine palette. The Dangerous palette. And then I've also got the Preen palette, and this was also a gift of a friend. Then I've got a Build Your Own palette. That one's got, it's Walk of Shame that comes free with it. Um, Polyester Bride. And then the other two, I can't remember what they are, sorry. <laughs> I don't really want to take those ones out, but that's my Build Your Own. It's got a nice mirror in the lid, and I'm going to get Verve and... Virgin are going to finish that one off because they're my favourite out of the naked palettes. I've also got the sustainable palette which is made of wood. 
It's really quite nice, that one. And then this is my first ever, ever Urban Decay palette. That is the Deluxe Box of Shadows, which is very banged up. I've hit pan on Graffiti and Ransom, Ransom and I've used some of the others quite considerably. So that's the Deluxe Box of Shadows. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to large palettes. This is the Vice palette. And that's what that one looks like. I love this palette, it's beautiful. The only thing is these raised letters make it quite hard to store because as you can see they're quite raised so you can't put anything on top of it so it's a bit of a pain. And then I've got the five boxes of shadows. So this is the first box of shadows. This one is the second box. There's some colours in the first two that aren't actually available in any other palette. Um, this one, I've still got the stuff inside this one. This one is beautiful. Um, oh, I should have showed you the flip ups on these. These really don't have much going on for them in the flip ups section. Um, Hook Shadows one. Has some flowers in a mirror. Fuka Shadows 2 flips up to reveal a mirror and then it's got this little section here that you open and then it's got a little book in there to show you lots of looks that you can do which is actually quite good. The Alice one lifts up and then there's a scene in there and then in here it's not been used yet there's a primer portion and two eyeliners and then those are the colours. I love this very lucky to get my hands on this absolutely brand new and sealed and I have an Urban Decay Loves NYC palette this one is amazing that one lights up gorgeous I love this palette this has had a lot of use this palette the colors are really beautiful it's that one and then the final one is this one This one has some butterflies and a mirror and then it's got some cards that you can use um, with a phone and then a little speaker to plug in. I didn't really like that concept but never mind. And then those are the shadows. I've also got the pen eyeliner and I had a mascara in here which I've used and binned. The pen eyeliner is quite nice. I can't remember where I've got that right now though. So That's that palette. So I have got a second one of these that I actually won in a competition here on YouTube so I've got a backup of this one. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it but this is one of those palettes that I absolutely love. Um, I make quite a dent on some of these shadows so I might even just keep that other palette and it's new and sealed. I haven't opened it so yes. So that is my Urban Decay collection. I'm trying to go through it quite fast actually because there was quite a bit to go through and I didn't want to bore you. <laughs> um, the only other things I have are brushes. Okay, so these are my Urban Decay brushes. Some of them are small because they've come in palettes. Um, all of them actually, except one, have come in palettes. So I actually got this one. Um, it's a blending brush and I actually got this one off Debenhams. It was actually sold as one that you can use to blend out the pencil shadows. I didn't have any at that point. Oh, see, I did forget something. I didn't have any at that point, but I've got some now. Um, so it's a beautiful blending brush, it's perfect for getting detailed colour in the crease because it's quite, quite a nice little small end. And then I've got some other ones that are were in palettes basically. So there's this one, which has a blend and sort of brush at one end and then a shadow, a brush to place the shadow on on that end. I also have this little brush, which is just a basic eyeshadow brush. This one, which is just a shadow brush, so I've got quite a few shadow brushes. Another one, which is a shadow brush, uh, that was from the last palette I showed you, it's got the flies on it. This one, again, another shadow brush, and then another double ended one. This is from Naked 2, but again, that's just a shadow and then a fluffy brush at the other end. So, those are my brushes, and I did forget to talk about a couple of other things that I have got. I've got two of the cream shadows, that's what these look like, and I have got, this one's Weeds, which is a lovely green colour, 
this one's delinquent, which is a purple. Oh, I also have a brow box in Beige Betty. I love the brow box. It's a really perfect colour for my brows. And it had a little pair of tweezers, which I've actually got in my purse, and then it's got a little brush there. Your two shades, and then you shut it, it's really pretty, and then you press at the bottom, and then you've got your brow setting gel in the bottom. So it's a really nice little piece there. It's cute. I also have the Grindhouse Sharpener, which came with the 15th anniversary eyeliner pencil set, which is in the drawer, um, but you don't really want to see in a sharpener anyway. Um, basically, I had the eyeliner pencil set in its box as a display item, but then I decided to take it out and just put all of the liners together, which actually makes life a lot easier. And the 15th anniversary ones stand out because they've got the shiny tops. Um, but it's just a lot easier to have them in there um, so you can access all your colours together. And then the last things that I have are eyeshadow pencils. And I have got the purple one, which is delinquent. I have Clash. Now I have those ones twice because a friend sent me two of those as well. I have Juju. This one is Sin. Now, that one is the one I actually wanted to get full price, which was about £12, and this set of five was 10 from TK Maxx, so it was definitely worth getting. And then this one is Rehab. They're really beautiful um, shadow pencils, and they're great to work with. And that is it. That's definitely all of my Urban De Decay collection. I don't think I've got anything else. I don't have anything... Um, I don't have the foundation. I don't have any blushes. Um, oh, I do have a bronzer, actually, though. I totally forgot about my bronzer. And that's it there it's called baked and this one is in toasted toasted yeah it's quite nice so that is definitely it though I'm not forgetting anything else I'm pretty sure that, that is all I've got from Urban Decay but I love um, Urban Decay products in particular I'd have to say the things that stand out for me are eyeshadows and eyeliners those are my favorite products I love them that's it for my Urban Decay collection video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And let me know what your favourite Urban Decay product is if you've got one. And let me know what Urban Decay product you'd love to own. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to love you all and leave you and see you all soon. Bye. That's it for my Urban Decay... <laughs> Can't talk. I've just hit Millie on the head. Oh. What did I drop on you? Have you got anything in your mouth? No, it's all right. Ow! <laughs> I had to look inside just in case. It's a primer. Did it land on your noggin? Oh, no, you just bumped it. What an idiot. There's a puppy under my desk and I don't appreciate it. Thank you.